Hello, Wojciech Pietrza again and yet another friendly game against the opponent which I do not recognize by his nickname. As usual too, I could use two random but the beating always has something they like. Okay, record versus zero zero so I fully able to not recognize him. <laughs> no reasons to deviate from standard openings. Yes, is European unrest. Uh, not putting this in Poland uh, is like moving one influence from Poland to Finland when this is played. But access to Italy is more important than that. There are multiple like multiple good headlines but I think it's gonna be captured Nazi scientist it gives two victory points and not really a big deal if it's defected I wouldn't like to have Vietnam revolts defected for example on the other hand I also have decal so maybe maybe Yeah, make it Vietnam revolts. I have Vietnam, I have Decol, I have Asia. I got red skirt, but this is not such a big deal. And of course trying to take Italy is more important than scoring Asia now. Because it succeeded, I couldn't know this, but because it was the one and only chance and also because Asia is quite easily reparable with Decal and China card, even when purged. In Asia I can s grab some more single victory points, but this is a vol volatile opportunity with such a hand. Hurt and definite for. Hmm. I think I'll score Asia, sc uh, score Asia now. And this frees my hand a little. And then I'll keep dropping Defcon <coughs> to secure age. Actually, not keep dropping, I'll just do it once. Defectors is a good hold candidate. Exaggeration, I think, but yes, it's better not to allow me go here. I'm not fighting for European domination. I am secured against his domination, and this is enough for a moment. So now let's go here. Ooh, and I rolled six. And what about Korean War? It was also a six. So I rolled three sixes in a row in, mo in the important rolls. There's less than half percent chance of achieving it, and all these sixes were important. Here it gave me control. Okay, here four would be enough and not changing anything. Whew. I may consider myself the luckier one. Maybe Decal is gonna be my hold card. Come on, I was thinking about headlining. Vietnam revolts or captured Nazi scientists missing the fact that I had defectors, damn it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> I 
think I will coo it. Cooing is more effective with one stops than some influence war and I don't want to be absent on Middle East and fourth six in a row. <coughs> And the chance for such thing is 1 to 1296. Yes, I am a kind of nerd who is able to calculate 6 to the power of 4 by heart, but in, in my head, but I don't have to do it because I know the result by heart. <coughs> and I'm glad he also rolled a 6 because this at least seems a little fairer. And guess what? I think I'll use Captured Nazi for a coup. And again in Lebanon to fight for domination in Middle East. Fortunately not another six. Still, how lucky I am about rolling. And in the last action round, I think I'll have to do something about Italy and yes, by something I was meaning over controlling and this is possible with the China card only. I can live with that because CIA is gone for a while. And also because DEFCON is at 4 at the beginning of next turn, presumably. Okay, he had the score. So Middle East is the only scoring left. It scores a 6 now, yes. And I'm leading by 9 already. My opponent isn't playing very strong, that's true. But he's so, so unlucky at the same time. Well, Perch was lucky, but didn't really give him anything decent. <laughs> Can't see any better handline than Fiddle. I probably would decal if Defcon was higher, but Defcon at 4? What else? I think that worries me more is that I can coup only Panama, the only decent target, and he always can either recoup or coup Egypt. But well, hmm. four was nice enough. I think nice enough to persuade him to counter coup. Or Panama or Egypt. Egypt seems more urgent because Middle East is gonna be scored sooner or later. <coughs> I may play US Japan and just put in South Korea and yes it was a good call but a bad roll. So, so unlucky. Immediate domination and immediate threat of taking Egypt. <coughs> Keeping the opponent busy is always worth. Decal has to be played just to Keep it in the deck after we shuffle and I think it is not going to go to Thailand. Rather Burma, Indonesia, Algeria and Angola. Access gainer. If he goes to Angola now, Zaire. Okay, this has priority. Hmm. Actually this has priority that way. He may take South Korea, yes, but I think Thailand is more important. And yes, I gave him the China card. 
and this has pr a priority even over Middle East domination. I am leading on the map, I am leading on VP, so a zero instead of four hertz a little, but losing the opportunity of dominating Asia in the long term would hurt more. If we continue the fight I may have some spur off to go to Laos, Cambodia, in which case I won't need Diko to Burma any longer. I didn't understand this move. Doesn't change anything in Europe, doesn't have any chance to change anything in Europe. Even if I took these two, he easily defends against domination. Let's secure it against China card takeover, let's threaten this one. <coughs> Formosan looks a good hold card just to play decor for the event and blockade for ops. Well, for op, actually. I think this op can go to Pakistan, which means the call may go to Nigeria instead of Burma, as planned. Uh, I allowed him, but at least this is queable. USA taking Algeria without taking Zaire in early war. It's always a vulnerability. Mm -hmm. It's funny that he didn't do it earlier. Okay. Pakistan looks tempting, but if he has war and wins it, he can have it. He gets access here instead of... And I can as well block him in Algeria, where he already has access to. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he succeeded, because it reverts luck somehow. I got another deco, he got this tau. And he might have got any of these core rings, as well as he might have got defectors. Yossip Tito is still somewhere. So this is a Doom headline. This is a natural headline. Okay, so I know part of his hand. This is Europe scoring. He's gonna know full my hand. Hmm, Europe's going. Can't really fight for it. At least I have Decal to address the damage he does in Zaire or Nigeria, I suppose. Pakistani war secures me against some against his war and against losing the military operations. No better target. 
targets anyway. Not really in a position to fight for Europe. Especially with this Truman in my hand, which he knows about, and the China in his hand. So Europe scores one in my favor, and let's just say I'm okay with this. As of military operations, the Pakistani war may make its work, but I think it's better to go to Colombia with, let's say, Formosan until he has the China card, and then. to cruise here and there. I don't have to space anything. He should space this time. And he has the scoring, so he's less flexible than me. Unless he does spacing or scoring right now. almost pointless but I'm not playing it because I want to be more secure here I did ideally put a three here but I don't have one and I have only one four which I need to have to counter his <laughs> containment as a 3 would be an equivalent to 2 because it increases his cards. Mm -hmm, Distal. And this is a moment. A rare moment when a very high roll in a one stop non battleground actually matters. <coughs> yeah, and this is why he responds like this, and this is why I respond like this. Ooh. If you roll high, my friend. You want the access to this America. But you have the scoring and I know you have the scoring. So maybe, just maybe, you leave me flexible with containment. guaranteed success and if he uses a high card ooh, the China card this is why Formosan was a good call and this is why it was unlucky and I'm gonna give him containment and a 
construction round earlier. Whew. Now I rolled a six head, I know. Okay, this allows me to go only with one to Venezuela. But access is the key. So many sixes is a bad habit. He prevented winning my war on five and still lost it. <coughs> He's really, really unfairly unlucky. Okay, let it go. But even without knowing the result, Going to Germany is a waste of ups. I mean, even to Cameroon it would be better, because he knew I wanted to go to Venezuela and could have prevented it. Or at least make it uncomfortable for me. Like playing AR6 move on his AR-5. <laughs> Gun manual or abdication, of course are the candidates and I think application goes not really do useful but the other cars are I want to keep Kaman in deck hmm <laughs> I love it when my opponents draw land gunman to green saves because it's trappy. He can't use the event to coup because then he loses. He can use the event before he uses operations, but then I get what I would get by triggering the event and he doesn't get a coup which he wanted with grain cells so he probably returns it mm -hmm. and not being lucky the China card it is because I want to play the cultural revolution and be able to hold two cards just in case I could take India now but Venezuela is more important one influence less one operation point less but it makes greater impact on the score Venezuela is a more important country than India. India is just more stable on this particular map. It doesn't mean it's worth more. And it's actually worth less here.
the next move probably Cameroon, Sahara stays in Brazil with Comic Con, provoking him to coup, giving me a counter coup target, threatening realigning Nigeria and craw crawling South America. Drawback is if he goes high against Cameroon, I may be unable to successfully counter. Cultural evolution to be played quite late to disable some stealings. I can risk it. Not that bad. And this is something which should be addressed actually. Lightning threat domination and crawling. I am slowly getting rid of playable cards. <coughs> So, I'm thinking about keeping duck and cover as a missile and the trap. <laughs> but this just doesn't seem right. A cultural revolution for ops. I space I can cover. I play as not. I have voice of America and puppet governments. Hmm. escape first and get rid of something nasty. Still ever actually. I think I can live with this. And 
this is a dilemma because if you have the middle list scoring and want to score it, this carving has a downside risk of drawing another scoring. Hmm, two cards discarded. Scorings, only Europe is gone. Okay, it looks nasty from his side, but Europe was scored and Truman is gone and I don't have to address this right now. What I should address is Africa. Rolling another six. I could attack Angola, creating realignment options for Zaire. But Angola is vulnerable to events. I can still steal it. Some other cards. Nigeria should be relatively safe against realignments due to higher ops. Hmm. Not so straightforward. Side risk for him. If he realigns Zaire, European and West is that I may completely ignore Europe and when I secure Europe eventually I may focus on East Germany and Poland, I need only two. I should much more care about Middle East. Some nasty cards in hands. With Nixon, I will probably want to play the China card. <coughs> and eventually. 
actually free my hand. But I need some breaths. One, two, score, Middle East. Okay. This was not convincing. Because this doesn't give you good realignment option. And this gives me the option to play Camp David quite freely without losing Middle East. So if you have Africa scoring, you better dump it now. Not waiting for my Cameron coup. Especially when you're perched. Holding two, spacing one, nuke subs. Last action round, I must remember to go to Chile in case he goes Argentina. Voice of America space, maybe two spaces even. One, two, three, seven against five, so even a coup doesn't give me anything. Okay, this is the free moment I needed because I can't improve my board position by any move. And he's wasting his ops, but he really doesn't have multiple. But maybe he doesn't have Africa scoring and thinks I have it. Southeast Asia, okay. Could have scored better, but I didn't have time to short these up. Space time. <coughs> Failed, so no more spaces. One card to hold is puppet governments. And I think. Nixon is the other one because Camp David cancels the event which is in this card at least. Wow. So Camp David now. And yes, why not going here? Account that he's perched. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about Haiti, but, but this actually look, looks better. I shouldn't really worry about this game because other than Defcon nothing is really really <coughs> harmful unless he discards four scoring slab. Discovered one. 
the greatest hand again. In case he has missile envy, I certainly don't want to give him this. Ah, I don't want to give him Usuri or Salt as well, but... But I will give him Usuri. Yeah. Sold. What's on this card? No. Not giving him salt. So he discarded Asia. So I will as well trade Asia as given up. And what? I think Kulibia, because what else? Oh no. You're kidding me. This is of a move of absolutely no threat. For such a powerful card as Usuri, he could put one here, one here, two here. And it would look disastrous. It's the two I hardly ever see such a waste of this card. Another 6 for a coup. This is being ridiculous. Excuse me for a moment. Gift, not a trouble. The interface is a trouble. Mm -hmm. so let's try to restart the game. Then 
most problematic card in my hands is Colonial Rare Cards. Therefore, I'm gonna drag Puppet Governments because I can still space one card and this suggests him that I don't have more problematic cards. I, it's always nice to make him thinking wrong things about my hand. those nasty cards I have. Plus now I have four military operations and he has zero, so salt negotiations suddenly stops being an air 7 threat. Still, it's better, probably best used for ops. Rather, sorry, not better. Especially that this is the best cards to be used for ops to take Africa after this, for example. What's this Africa outcome? It's exactly equal. Yep. Not any longer. And you have several troubling regions, my friend. I'm actually dominating all the three regions which hasn't been scored yet. But this means that I probably can't afford playing one small step for the event because I have to secure Europe. However, it depends on whether colonial rare guards reach the target or not. If they do, one small step may give me knowledge about his headline and this may be worth There will be reshuffle. I'm drawing eight, he's drawing seven. So maybe I should have played soft negotiations for the event just to prevent the reshuffle. No reshuffle is in my favor. It gives me three scorings before late um, before Europe comes back, for example. On the other hand, it was so many nasty events. Okay, I end. Okay, okay, you want this small battle, I'm scoring Africa for, for 3 only rather than 6. Just give me one more for South America and for one more up I may have it. two more VPs from there. So I might want to try 
succeeded suit in that space and now one small step is decent just to stop him seeing my headline. <coughs> this map, this VP truck and this bunch of remaining scoring has it only don't want him to see it. On the other hand, APM, Bar Brush War and Junta are still somewhere around. Hmm. Excuse me. Funny. <coughs> so, this is enough. A win. This is not, but still good. I feel that this is a not very valuable game in the sense that I'm extremely lucky. You may count the sixes I roll. My opponent isn't very strong and I'm not playing my best. For example, now I feel he may have Central America scoring and it's worth to fix it, but. I'm inclined to play this for the event. Yeah, not let him see my headline. This is four victory points. It's huge, but I'm reading so much that South America should be enough and not seeing my headline denies him some death contracts <coughs> yep he had this I would be at 18 now rather than 14 but I still think it was the right call oh no I got the whole holy trinity unluckiest fuck for him South America scoring even if it's defected I think think I'm winning this game but this is really a one-sided one I don't want him to be able to cool. Absolutely nothing to worry about with this hand. is that he has South America scoring.
and that he doesn't have Rashwa and Hunta. Oh. And that even if he gets there, this never stops me from winning the game. These two victory points for his presence in South America don't change anything. But the ones he could get for grabbing Argentina could. Even if he had succeeded this one, it would be too few. Mm -hmm. Very proud of my recent moves, but I don't feel guilty that I received such cards because I didn't do it on purpose. Card. The sorry, on Cuban Missile Crisis. In case I need some ops in South America, now let's create just one more threat. Four, five, six. He theoretically has time. Take all five and score even. But I have Hunt and he should know this one. Make it clear, my friend. You are not going to stop me scoring high in South America. That's the thing I was talking about. And the reason to keep Cuban Missile Crisis. Well, it was a very lucky game of me. Hmm. Forgot about realignments. Some crazy results. This may work for him, yes. But it didn't. Still ends the game. But 
but it was a very good call from him smart one and it could bring him some success thank you for watching and see you next time